Welcome to this video, Black Earth of the Indian, ADE. In recent years I discovered scientific articles about the Black Earth of the Indians, ADE, informing that the Indians knew how to produce this exceptional humus and soil improvement all over the Amazon rainforest officially since at least 4,500 years ago. Amerindians built the Amazon rainforest. Building the Amazon rainforest. I thought I invented and practiced for 16 years on a large scale, together with Indians, original people, from the region, this technique that I gave a name to, because it at that time didn't exist, and published about it. At that time also for me the Amazon forest was a natural grown forest. This technique, at least in part, for me, was similar to what I had already done when I was 8 to 10 years old. When I started studying the Black Earth of the Indian a few years ago, I realized that in reality the Indians were already practicing the same technique on a scale of the Amazon forest or larger at least 4,500 years ago. In fact their technique was better amongst others because they got paid, received means to live, to do so, because they lived and thrived on it, this while constructing and conserving the forest as nobody ever did before or after. Nothing done without an action plan. Nothing done without an action plan. I also understood better that modern humans will never solve their problems unless they develop an action plan and go back to doing a variant of what their ancestors kind of always did. In the best of cases we can say that humans were inefficient in creating action plans. The general public does not know of something that comes close to an action plan. Saying or claiming that CO2 has to be reduced by so much is not an action plan and will not solve anything unless some parties transform it into an action plan and execute that action plan, and possibly involve the ones that want to see CO2 in the atmosphere or other aspects benefited by enriched agroforests, preferably in the Amazon forest where it is disappeared or degenerated. Any such action plan will only be executed when humans understand where they came from and what they are. I also understood that humans are not going to execute any plan of action that is needed, unless they are going to discover and become aware. 1. That they exist because their ancestors hadn't executed this plan since they existed, and that only because of this they fared well and prospered, and still managed to supply, or be the source of, humans and populate the world through expansions, such as the Austronesian expansion, an essential subject of my videos, with what we today call modern humans. 2. That if they do not adopt and execute an action plan they will live ever more in misery and go extinct and be the cause of the destruction of forest, climate, biodiversity, fauna, and the planet. Health, while being instead of false promises. I also understood that the Indians in the forests lived full, well-being, and healthy lives practicing this technique and collecting food etc., living a culture around agroforests, biodiversity and the agroforestry techniques practiced by them. It was then that I dedicated myself to studying the Indians to find out who they were from the point of view of ancestrality and genetics, and what they did to build the Amazon forest. It was then that I discovered and managed to prove that the Indians were the ancestors of all humans, but were then kidnapped from their tribes in the forests to be transformed into hybrids and induced or forced to invade, replace and populate the world through expansions, this with sequences of voyages of fleets of boats. The fleet of boats took advantage of the rotation of ocean currents and went along favorable currents and returned along others, followed the gyres, international researcher and consultant on tropical forest regeneration. I am now 55 years older and have dedicated my life to forests and trying to solve the problems that I recognized in 1968 at the age of 10. I was hired as an international researcher and consultant mainly related to tropical forests, but I always paid a lot of attention to the importance of humus and terra preta and the increase in productivity and biodiversity of forests. I also was aware all along of the importance of sequestering carbon dioxide since sequestered carbon in soils and forest is not a mere beneficial for climate, but an essential and accumulating capital for any growth, production, security, health and ultimately success in all senses. Preserving the forest only through agroforestry? Although I achieved everything that was the objective, like natural regeneration and standing biomass of commercial trees, read logs of high quality, of the research and projects for which I was hired as an international consultant. This increment of production to make sure that the forest would not be cut, made and still makes sense, but there are serious risks involved, apart from depending on investment and needing time that politicians often are not prepared to invest or follow up. Cutting renders money immediately especially for criminals and guarding forests present serious challenges and again investment. I realized more and more that the regeneration and enrichment of the forest and the soil, 
and obviously the consequent regeneration of the local and global climate, that despite the obvious and immense benefits, would lead to the destruction, by organized crime, etc., of the managed and benefited forests. Because even with planned management, the forests were going to be exploited illegally, this would only be a matter of time, and in this case they were going to be destroyed even more so because they had become so enriched with extremely valuable wood, running the risk of being exploited even more radically, this illegally, but also legally, due to possible changes in existing laws that leave the forests and the managers without the needed security. So what was hypothesized as necessary to recover the damage from past extractions and mainly to avoid deforestation, legal and illegal, etc., would inevitably lead to the destruction of forests by organized crime or by the limited vision of modern humans. This is because this time the guardians that were present in the past when the Amerindians practiced the techniques and were the guardians at the same time, will not be present in the same numbers and are not empowered sufficiently to fend of the mentioned challenges and because of this possibly not really or immediately interested anymore in the techniques and lifestyle that once made them thrive. What I can say about this is that this lack of interest was not at all the case for the Amerindians I worked with for 16 years, but this was relatively small scale compared to the Amazon forest and in a relatively favorable starting position and time. I have heard from very close quarters of government officials who practiced legal logging during the day, but used government machines, logistics etc. to log illegally at night, this was not in Brazil. Illegal exploiters operated on even larger scales and in much more destructive ways. I mentioned it just to show the complexity of preserving tropical forests if they don't have dedicated and safe guardians, or result in total inaccessibility. Today I know a simple and cost-free way, setup, approach, with which the regeneration, enrichment and income from forests or agroforests would be the same or even more than simply practicing the agroforestry technique and or normal exploitation of tropical forests. With this way of managing, destructive deforestation and fires would not and could not happen any longer, all this with much less investment than is the case with logging and extraction or traditional agriculture. Presenting the world this simple way was the initial reason for me to produce and publish ebooks and to produce and publish videos. This is the end of this video, thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you in our next video. Bye.